Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Let's Complete the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. We are continuing with the Thieves Guild today. So, we have fenced over a thousand gold worth of goods. Uh, so, we need to now go to the Imperial City and wait and hope that someone delivers a message from the Grey Fox. I don't know how close to the end of the Thieves Guild we are. I mean, I feel like we're getting pretty close at this point, but I'm not sure. I've never done it before. So, let's wait a few hours and hopefully someone will stop us in our tracks fairly quickly. Hopefully. Please don't do this again. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Um, yeah, I've reached my goal. I've fed over a thousand gold. Okay, I guess we just need to wait a bit longer. Come on. Yeah, there we go. I have another message from the Grey Fox. What is the message? The Grey Fox requests a meeting. Please travel to Atralo's house in the Imperial City Elven Gardens. Okay, thank you very much. We have, of course, been to Othrilo's house uh, quite a lot. Um, we need to make that our quest, the ultimate heist. Amnesai has given me another message from the Grey Fox. I am to meet him at Othrilo's house in the Elven Gardens district in the Imperial City. Uh, yeah, we've been there quite a lot, or at least I have, because I went there to train Sneak a lot. Uh, and also, of course, it was part of those stupid, <laughs> stupid quests, training quests that I hated so very much. So, Arthurello's house is around here. Here we go, and we can go inside. And let's see what the Grey Fox wants from us this time. Where is he? Here he is. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready for one last great heist? I, I was born ready. The last heist? This is the big one. This is the heist that will be written about and talked about for decades to come. We are going to steal one of the Elder Scrolls from the Imperial Palace. Are you ready for this challenge? No way. <laughs> How much is the buyer paying? There is no buyer. This is for glory, not for money. Our names will become legend. I also have a personal need for this particular scroll. As for your compensation, I ask you to trust me. If my plan works, you'll get a reward worth far more than mere money. Will you do it? Glorious. When do we start? Capital. I have worked for 11 years planning this heist. Sevilla's stone provided the last bit of information I needed. What's the plan? The Elder Scrolls are kept in the Imperial Palace, behind a door that cannot be breached. Sevilla's stone has revealed a path around this door. You will have to travel the old way. Once used as an escape route for Imperial Emperors, it has been forgotten for centuries. To unseal the entrance, you must sneak into the basement of the palace and activate the Glass of Time, whatever that is. Where is the actual entrance? In the Imperial sewers. Here is the key for the gate to that section of the sewers. I picked the pocket of Okato himself to get it. What is this old way? My scrying with Sevilla's stone has provided clues, but not the details. I know the tools you will need there, but not the obstacles themselves. The boots of spring -Heel Jack will allow you to leap to an unreachable place. They will also protect you from a long fall. The arrow of extrication is the only way to unlock the final door. Take them both. Is that all you know? Once you're inside the palace itself, you need to find the reading room. The blind priests will deliver a scroll to you there. How did you manage that? I arranged for the notable Celia Cameron to want to read a particular Elder Scroll. Don't ask how. However, she will be unavoidably detained. You will take her place. Do not speak to the priests. They're blindfolded and will not realize it isn't her, unless you speak. As the Guildmaster, I am waiving blood price for anyone you kill during this heist. However, I can't stop the watch from putting a price on your head. I can't remember all this. 
I've written it down for you in this book. I've chosen you because you are the best. Good luck. Whoa! <laughs> Sending a few things flying there. Okay, so we've got the plan for the big heist, the boots of Spring Heel Jack, the Arrow of Extrication, which he assumably got fixed. So, the ultimate heist. The Grey Fox intends to steal one of the Elder Scrolls from the Imperial Palace. The audacity of such a theft is astounding. The Grey Fox has laid out the plan for me. It's not simple, but he has given me a written copy for my reference. He has even set aside the Guild Rule of Blood Price for this heist. Now I just have to execute the plan. The first step is to infiltrate the Imperial Palace and activate the Glass of Time. Whatever that is. Okay, so this does sound like we're pretty much at the I end think. here. What now? Who the hell said that? <laughs> they must have like, you know, we must have caught them in between worlds. So where exactly are we going? The Imperial City Palace. So we need to activate the Glass of Time, which is in the palace. That That is actually quite a lot to remember. <laughs> I mean, I have a pretty good memory. Am I allowed in here? Yes, I am. What the hell is going on with the dialogue? <laughs> like, look, he's talking, but it's not coming up. So where do we... This way? Oh yes, of course, I remember this. I like. I feel like this room is so big that like, you know, it should have had a bigger part. But you know, we only really go in there, you know, we only go in once. Why the hell is the door? Did, why did the door just close behind me? That's so weird, does it? Yeah, look, it closes behind me. That's a bit weird. But yeah, like we, we only go in there once for the main quest, really. So I'm guessing, well, we're looking for the basement and we are allowed in here, but I'm guessing we're not going to be allowed in the basement, right? Uh, typically we're not allowed. So, oh, we can. Elder Council Chambers. That might be because we're like, you know, important. Although it's telling me to go back out. Where the hell is it? Are we not meant to go in there? Oh, no, okay. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, so it's a big circle, so we need to go all the way around the other side. Also, I don't know why I jump. Well, no, I do know why I jump everywhere like this. It's just that, you know, I grew up playing Minecraft, so it's a very hard ingrained <laughs> habit uh, that's quite hard to break, especially with a game like Oblivion. That is so good with jumping. And yes, we are not allowed in here. Um, we are seen. I don't know why, though. So we, we've got the Amulet of Stealth. So that's one, one chameleon thing. We've got, uh, okay, we need to take this one off uh, and put, we've got the ring of camouflage, I need to put that one on. Okay, now we should be completely invisible. Yeah. Who the hell is seeing us? And how? I, how, why are we being seen? I don't understand is this like glitched or something what if i take it all off okay and then that one that one that one and that one I we are a hundred percent invisible right now how the hell are we being seen huh What, even if we stand behind him? What? Is this glitched or something? Okay, well, I'm gonna quick save. Like, look, we are literally 100% invisible right now. So, I don't know how the hell they're seeing us, and we're not even in his line of sight. God, I really hope this isn't glitched. Okay, and now we're not see- uh, whatever, okay. Fine, I don't know if there's gonna be any guards down here. Uh, oh, yeah, okay, I see one over there. Um, so we're looking for the glass of time, which is apparently in this very room. He's going that way. Um, what the hell? <laughs> Why is there a massive chair? I, can I? <laughs> what on earth? I don't know. Yeah, look at look at all of this. A giant club, a giant hourglass, ah, and the glass of time, which is also massive. So, okay. 
I have activated the glass of time. According to the Grey Fox, the door to the old way in the Imperial sewers should now be open. Now I just have to find it. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea what the reason is behind these massive objects. Are these crates bigger than normal as well? I'm not really sure. So, ooh. Oh wow, nothing, as per usual. <laughs> so I guess we just need to, we need to leave now and we need to find the sewers. And now he can't see us. What on earth? I, I have no idea what was going on there. Clearly, it's just a bit glitched. But never mind, hopefully, hopefully that will right itself. Uh, I mean, we've got pretty much max sneak anyway, so, we, you know, we don't necessarily need the chameleon stuff. I think that was clearly just a silly glitch. So, where, where are we going now? Uh, is that in the arena? Or the arboretum? Let's try the arena. Wow, we have not been to the, to the arena in a long time. Yeah, you remember this? Man, that was, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? So, our quest marker is leading us over here. Hopefully we are... In the right section. No, I think it wants us. Yeah, it wants to go to the arboretum. Sometimes it's hard to tell, you know, between all the different districts. So, ah, here, the southeast tunnel. Okay, well, let's go into sneak. I mean, we're allowed in here, but we should probably sneak anyway. We're we're in the thieves guild, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I assume there's going to be like rats and mud crabs and stuff down here, but we'll just. Give them a hot swerve. We're not going to gain anything from, from killing them, really. Uh, blade's pretty much already maxed, I think. Um, and yeah, we're, we're not doing any more skills. <laughs> uh, okay, that's a gate. The gate is opened remotely. Oh, with this? Yes, indeed. It was just very slow. <laughs> anything, anything over here? No? Okay. Hi. Bye. Another rat. We'll just give these guys the swerve. There might be goblins and stuff down here as well, but only if there's humanoid en enemies, we might kill them. I don't know which way I'm meant to be going, honestly. Um, yeah, I mean, if we see like vampires or something, we might we might kill them just just for funsies. Okay, so oh, daughter beneath the bloodworks. Okay, so that's um. Oh wow. Really, guys? Come on. That's, that's grim. But you know what? They really did a good job of making the zombies creepy in this game. Yes, yeah, so this is beneath, um, you know, the training room for the arena that was we did so long ago. <laughs> Some gold. That's pretty much it. Yeah. I bet this is Owen's doing. He, he, he'd love this. Um, oh, we've got a, a skeleton here. What, is, what was he doing there? Some sort of, like, cool anime pose? I'll take your bone meal. I don't need it, but why not? Petty soldier. What on earth is going on here? Again, I really don't need these things, but I just... I have to take them. I just can't... <laughs> I can't help myself, okay? I can't help myself. Some gold. Battered crate. This is very, very descriptive. Um, I mean, it had the little skull things there, so I thought they were going to be goblins. That's usually what the skulls mean, and I think... Well, I don't really know what we're looking for, actually. Oh, are we back? Where are we? I don't know. I'm really turned around. Where does this go? Door to the market sewers? That's not where we want to go, though. Man, these... <laughs> I get so turned around in these sewers. And the problem with Oblivion is they just... They all look the same. Because the graphics are kind of... It, it, not, not brilliant. <laughs> Oh, look at that. That is a humanoid enemy. Well, I might just kill him, but I don't know if we want to drop down there just yet. It'll probably all loop around. Ah, we have a turn wheel. What does that open? Ah, that. So I assume we are going to go down there, but um, let's, you know, kind of go the route they're intending, I guess, and explore everything. But yeah, because the graphics are just not that great and everything in Oblivion, like, it's not handcrafted like it is in Skyrim. So it's just kind of like the same rooms copied and pasted and like building blocks together, you know? Um, and so it's just, it's confusing because everything looks the same because it, it is the same pretty much. Uh, sure, I'll take all of that. Thank you very much. And who the hell is this guy? A vampire. It is indeed a vampire. They're dead now. What on earth? 
I I don't know what the hell is going on here. Some sort of missing texture? Oh, I might have to uh, investigate that. Uh, I did notice that because uh, I moved house recently, uh, it had reset a whole load of my oblivion settings, so that may be something that has gotten reset by accident. There's a turn wheel there, but I think that's just going to close this, I think. Uh, I'm not even really sure if we're going in the right direction. Oh, wait, 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 there's that. Do I need to raise that? I don't know. Oh, there's another wraith. I don't know why these things don't die in one hit. That's really stupid. Like, it's like pretty much the only enemy that we can't kill in one hit. Ooh. Nice, I'll take those. Again, it's not really that much point. Does this turn wheel do those? Yes, indeed it does. So, ooh, moving on. Another mud crab. Just gonna leave you guys here, you know. You're not bothering anyone. Oh, wolf. I don't know why I killed him, actually. There was no need. <laughs> Door opened with Imperial sewer key. Okay, so we are we are going in the right direction. We've got some chests here. You almost can't see them because it's so damn dark. Yeah, I do I really do feel like some of my settings have been reset. Manhole cover to the palace sewers. Ah, I found the sewer entrance that the Grey Fox told me to look for. Now I need to find the old way. Okay, wow, so we were only looking for the sewer entrance. We haven't even found the old way yet. Jesus. Yeah, wow, well, I, I feel like- I, I can feel that this quest is going to be a long one. I can feel that already. Skeleton. Bye. May as well clear these guys out, right? I mean, they're, they're not exactly helping anyone down here. Um, I hope I'm going the right- Whoa, this looks like an important room, doesn't it? Yeah, this is unique as far as I'm aware. Is there anything down here? Come on. Gotta be a chest. Oh, a slaughterfish. No, no chest. Okay, ah. Oh. <laughs> Come on, guys. You, you could have given me a little chest down there. Even if it just had, like, five gold, you know? Yo, this, this room looks entirely unique to me, which is, well, like I said, incredibly rare. Okay, not entirely unique, because there's another one here, but... Yeah, it's very rare in Oblivion, because they're all just copied and pasted. They're not all handcrafted like they are in Skyrim. Uh, ooh, I see chests here. And one up here with, you know, not much. Ah! Strange door to the old way. Well, there we go. See ya. I found the old way. This is clearly a long abandoned sub-basement of the Imperial City. It looks like it's going to be a long journey to get into the Imperial Palace this way. I need to find the door that connects to the palace interior. If I remember correctly, I will need the arrow of e <laughs> It says I will need the the arrow e the the arrow extrication. I think you mean I will need the arrow of extrication to unlock time in order to open that door. Okay, off we go. So yeah, I yeah, this is going to be a really long quest. I can feel it. Get rid of this zombie. I can see another wraith over there as well as a trap. Uh, we've got a fork in the path immediately. A very hard door. Yeah, man. If I mean, if you don't have the skeleton key. Oh, there's a pressure plate there. What? You're really gonna have to, you know, come prepared with a whole load of lockpicks. <laughs> Cause, yeah, man. There are a lot, a lot of locks. Who's this? Is that another lich? Yeah. Yeah, so look, I can kill another lich in one swing, but not a gloom wraith. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but like in my head, like these guys would be weaker than the nether liches. <laughs> But they're not. Like, look, they survive almost like two full hits, you know? Which just doesn't make much sense to me. There's a whole load of traps down here, which is kind of weird, I feel. I I don't know if this is, because uh, it, it's kind of reminding me, you know, uh, you know, like the tutorial bit at the very beginning when you're obviously escaping. Um, okay. Wow, we've got lots of doors here. I don't know if we want to be going through these or not. Um, oh man. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we're not going to explore this fully. Oh, sneak skill increase. Nice. Gold, I'll take that. I mean, oh, is this not anything? 
Oh come on, that looks that that looks unique enough to be important, but I guess not. Oh, and that goes. Okay, we're just back to where we were before. That's fine. But yeah, this bit reminds me of the tutorial bit at the beginning of the game. Um, so I don't know if they're actually linked, or if well, like I said, they're all just you know copied and pasted of kind of the same thing. So they may have just used the same assets and copied and pasted them. I'm not sure. Man, so many doors. Okay, so this is this is the underneath bit, right? Because there's room wraith and doorway. Yeah. Yeah, and then here's the zombie. So yeah, okay, nothing down here, so we need to go the other way. Man. <laughs> I have no yeah. This is gonna take a long time. I guess we need to go up here. Is this Oh, wants to go this way? Door to the door to the old way. Oh, this is where we just were though. Can I jump up here? Can I? Come on, I can do that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, where's another door then? Because, <laughs> like, it's pointing me over there, but I can't see. There wasn't anything over here. Or does it want us to go this way? Because this is where we just were, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm so confused. Oh no, this is. Different? Man, I'm confused. Is this anything? No. Whoa, look at that. That's cool. <laughs> I... I'm really... Ah! Yeah, man, this is really confusing. <laughs> really, really confusing. I have to say they did design this pretty well in terms of making it a labyrinth. And, you know, the quest did say it was going to be a long journey, so... Ah, here we go. Wood door to the lost catacombs. Okay. Okay, so we're in a more of a cave now. Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna bypass these guys now. Uh, we don't gain anything from killing them, and yeah, I mean they can't even see us anyway. So, what's the point? Sup? And yeah, I'll just I'll leave you be. You know, it's it's the Imperial City Guard's problem really to deal with them. I see a chest over here though, and I just just can't leave it, guys. <laughs> just can't leave it. <laughs> Another dread zombie. I don't know how many doors we're gonna have to go through to get a green quest marker, because it's still red and we've been through like, what, three doors or something? Oh, look at this. This is fairly unique, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like they really uh, put a lot of effort into this dungeon design. Because usually in Oblivion they're all just, you know, copied and pasted the same thing, really. Ooh, summon Zivalite home. Cool. And a decent amount of gold there. Uh, we won't even be able to cast that spell, but... Oh well. But yeah, I feel like they really put a lot of effort into this specific dungeon, which is strange, because... I don't know, I don't know why you would put so much effort into just one specific dungeon and not any of the others. Because, <laughs> I mean, I can't think of really any other dungeons that have such unique layouts or well, not layouts but you know unique rooms because they're all just like you know they made like five rooms for each different type of dungeon and then like you know jigsawed them together you know which is understandable because it's a massive game so you know to make each one unique would just be ridiculous i really hope i'm going the right way here i have no idea um which you know is what they did for skyrim but obviously it took a hell of a long time for them to do that um but yeah, I don't know, like, why would you just do it for this one specific quest and not bother with any of the others? Like, the only one I can think of is... Ooh, we've got, uh, Angry Gems here, which... Not that keen on. <laughs> okay, so... I mean, I see a button up there. We've got this staircase that is... Collapsed. I mean, I feel like I could probably just jump up there, honestly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, I mean, do I need to press this button? What does that do? Anything? No? Maybe I need to press both of them? Hopefully it's not like a, you know, press them within a certain time sort of thing. What's going on over here? Just, just a skeleton? That, that's, you know, that, that's always a great sign when you're adventuring, you know, that's... If you look in your, uh, you know, Ad Adventurer's 101 manual, I, it's always a great sign when you see buttons. That's that's brilliant. 
I don't I don't know what these two buttons are doing. They don't seem to be doing anything. <laughs> oh, sneak skill increased again, wow. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Uh, these things are going to shoot me. Uh, and they do a hell of a lot of damage, which I'm not that keen on. Oh, maybe they opened this and I just didn't notice it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're going into like an Iliad ruin now? Hall of Epochs? I didn't expect it to be an Iliad ruin. Whoa! Whoa, 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 did you, did you see that? I feel like someone just shot something at me. We got some, uh... Welkin stones here, which I really do not need. I have literally like 150 of them, <laughs> but I just have I have to tink them guys. I have to. Uh, is there anything up here? No? Okay, moving on. I'll leave him to his business. Oh, no, we got more more angry angry gems and okay, this looks like a big room to me. I really don't want those gems to shoot me because they do so much damage. <laughs> It's actually ridiculous. They're, they're pretty much the only thing that have chance of killing me. Oh, look, here we, I was gonna say, like, why is there not a welcome stone here? But no, it just fallen off. Uh, oh, wow, look at these guys. There must be some secret way to open this door. I'll bet this is where I have to use the arrow of extrication. Most likely, I have to be standing in a special place for the keyhole to open up. It will be somewhere with a clear view of this pillar. Oh, okay, so what, this pillar, I guess? Yeah, keyhole pillar. We can't interact with it. Well, I wanna look at these guys. Look at this. Yeah, they're like, um, it almost looks like, it looks like they're people, but they're frozen. You know, in terms of like how they designed them. It's like they just took an NPC and like froze them in place. Uh, I feel like they might come alive, honestly, <laughs> because they look so much like an NPC. But yeah, they've got like elven armor, that's pretty cool. Okay, so yeah, we're trying to get this. So we need to shoot it. Um, someone with a clear line of sight. I mean, I don't know if these will open. I guess, I'm guessing it's probably something over there, uh, which is a shame because I don't really want to go near those angry gems because like I said, they're the only thing that can really t kill us in this game, honestly, at this point. What on earth is going on here? These walls look like they are meant to move. Maybe this place, maybe the place I need to stand to fire the arrow is behind them. I better look for a way to get through them. Ah, I see. Got another very hard lock here. Okay, so I assume we're looking for press blocks like this one. Also, alien coffer, which has fuck all really, but we'll take it anyway. We'll take it anyway. Uh, I don't know if there's anything down here really of worth. Uh, I mean, we could probably get out of sneak if I'm being perfectly honest because they can't because we've got a hundred percent chameleon They literally cannot see us which is honestly still really funny <laughs> uh, Oh this Is open. Oh man, this place is so big Where does this go? Hall of epochs That's the same location we're in now. I mean do we need to go that way? I don't know. I don't want to go down, you know, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not interested in exploring every nook and cranny. I know I usually am, but, but with Oblivion, there's not going to be anything. It's just going to be a couple of random chests with random loot. Um, and it, yeah, there's not going to be anything. So I don't want to have to go down there if I don't need to. But I mean, that button didn't seem to do anything. So I think it probably just opened those, uh, the wall, but... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think, I reckon we need to go in that door. And then there's probably one on the other side as well. I would think so. Because uh, they kind of look like they're mirror images of each other. But I'm not sure. Hopefully this door will kind of loop us back around to the other side. So we don't have to like, go all the way in here, come all the way back out and then do it all again on the other side. Because that would, and that would, that would suck. <laughs> Anything in here? Not really. Okay, Ooh, look, oh, oh, look at all these Welkin stones. <laughs> I have to take them, guys. Uh, we are, you know, we're on Thieves Guild, of course. We would be looting all of the things. Where's this one? Has that one just fallen off? Someone else nicked that one before I could get to it. Okay, well, I'm not seeing any buttons immediately. Oh my god, this place is massive. We've got some more chests. Fire and Darkness, that might be a skill book. Although at this point I doubt that'll be 
any use really because we've already you know got all of our skills up as high as we need them and yeah and honestly we've probably already read it at this point i mean is there a button over here this is this is such a long dungeon a button please more welkin stones which i have to take i have to take them guys i just i just have to i like shiny things have you seen a button sir mr mr gloom wraith mr wraith gloom i don't, I don't know how do you prefer to be addressed as have you seen a button anywhere maybe behind here no just a chest with absolutely nothing in it brilliant a button just just a button you know it's like it like glows blue like the same blue as these lovely stones that i'm just stealing from under you oh my god it goes even deeper are you joking me ah a button oh my god is that actually gonna make us walk all the way back okay so yeah we press that button i think it is legit gonna make us walk all the way back which is just ridiculous <laughs> Yeah, okay, we're getting out of sneak now. We just need to run. Run fast. They can't see us anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, okay, so I'm hoping that that button did something. <laughs> um, yeah, I really am hoping, because we just ran all that way, and I assume we now have to do the exact same thing to the other side. Um, which, yeah, I mean, this is just such a long... That's such a long way to run, to just push a button. <laughs> I don't know why... I mean, this quest is really fun, you know, and they really put a lot of effort into it, but I don't know... It's just strange that they put so much effort into this quest, and they... I don't know, I don't feel like they put as much effort into literally any other quest. Ah, and here we go. Yes, we've got some zombies, and the walls have indeed lowered. Oh, it did it on this side as well. Brilliant! Okay, so yeah, we don't have to do it for the other side. Brilliant, that's brilliant. Obviously, we've got all these guys, but we can just ignore them. Are those gems gonna shoot me? I really hope not. This must be the spot. Standing on this pressure plate opens the pedestal at the far end of the room. I should practice with normal arrows a few times before trying the arrow of extrication. I will only get one try. Oh man, do I have a bow? Fuck. <laughs> um... Yeah, I I don't have a bow, do I? <coughs> um These guys have moved position. What the hell? Yeah, they are totally going to attack me. <laughs> I, I I would I would bet money on that. Yeah, and these guys have changed position cuz they had like one arm in the air. Um yeah, I literally don't have a bow, do I? Oh my god, how could I be so stupid? <laughs> I mean, wait, wait, wait. This guy's an archer. If I kill him, can I take his bow? Please, please, please. I don't have to go all the way back. Wait, wait, wait. Is that his bow? Silver bow. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank the lord. <laughs> oh look, the gems are gone. Yeah, so the gems are gone, and yeah, those guys are 110 percent gonna attack me. I was so thought I was gonna have to go all the way back, and also I don't have any arrows to practice with. Uh, so let's just uh, let's just take these arrows as well. Yeah, man, I can't believe I didn't think of that. Yeah, geez, that could have been really bad. Oh, look at that! So the statue turns. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. So we need to obviously make a save because we could royally screw up here. Have I got the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I turned auto run on. <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, those guys are 100% gonna attack us. Although it'd be interesting because they can't see us, so I don't know if it'll be one of those situations where they just like automatically know where we are. Okay, so let's try... Have we got our bow out? Let's try with a couple of normal arrows first. I can't see. Okay, I think that was a bit low. I can't see the bow and arrow, which is <laughs> hindering me. Okay, so that hit. So we need to do it there, I think. Yes. Okay, so let's do the arrow of extrication. 
I've used the arrow of extrication to activate the door and open the secret way into the palace. There is no telling where I might end up. I should take care to extinguish my lights, muffle my footsteps, and be as stealthy as and be stealthy as I enter the door. Okay, so that's rising. Oh, you can see the arrow that fell. Whoa, 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 why do I keep... I keep hitting auto run by accident. Also, you cannot change weapon while attacking. What? I'm not attacking. <laughs> also, those guardians moved again. I saw them. Yep. They can't see me though, which is funny. Yeah, alien guardians, so they're now actually a thing. Let's kill them anyway. Oh my god, wait, 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 I could talk to them. Oh, what? I can't loot them now? I'm gonna try and talk to the other one. I, I, I don't think it'll let me, but... Excuse me. Yeah, no, it won't let me. <laughs> okay, well, let's just kill them. Put them out of their misery. And yeah, I can't... Oh, I can, but yeah, they don't have anything. Okay. I'm gonna leave this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Oh, where... Oh, Hour of Extrication. Wow, we can actually get that back. That's amazing. Cool. Yeah, I'm going to leave this episode here. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This quest is way longer than I thought it was going to be. And I do think this is probably at least very close to the end of the Thieves Guild now. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Like it if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you in the next video.